it all starts with doing the work. The work is what impresses people with you. And so you do the you do your work first. And so and sometimes it can have amazing benefits. So for instance, I am um, when I was producing sliders, they made a mini series of Moby Dick. And Gregory Peck was in it as Father Mapple doing this this sermon. And they cast him because he played Ahab in the 1950s movie that John Huston directed. So I met I went to the screening and Charles, uh, uh, Gregory Peck was in the row behind me and asked him if, I asked him if I could mail him a, a lobby card with Moby Dick and he signed it. And Ray Bradbury had written that, that movie in, for John Huston. But, but it was basically felt at the time that, that Gregory Peck was miscast. He wasn't perfect as Ahab. But he's great as Father Mapple. He won an Emmy for that in the miniseries. And uh, so I got this weird idea because I come upon this, this uh, record album of Charles Lawton in an audio adaptation of Moby Dick and he was great. He was this brilliant actor. And um, so I, made, I edited together this audio version of Moby Dick that had Charles Lawton as Ahab, uh, Gregory Peck as Father Mapple, and Richard Basehart as Ishmael. And I gave it out as a Christmas present to my friends one year as a CD. And I never would have had the temerity to give it Ray Bradbury because I was screwing with his work. But one day I come home and there's a message on my answering machine and it says, Hello, Mr. Zikri. This is Ray Bradbury. I've just heard your Moby Dick uh, CD. Uh, please call me. And I thought, oh God, I've pissed off Ray Bradbury. <laughs> And so I call him with my, my heart in my throat, and he says, I was dear friends with Charles Lawton, and I, I love what you did. It's so wonderful. Please, you've got to come over to the house. I, let, let, let's, let's, let's sit down and talk. Great. So I went to Ray's house. This is, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, about 15. And, um, and, I, I, and we sat down, and we talked, and we became fast friends. And so from then on, every month or two, I'd go to his house, and we'd just hang out and talk. But, and, and he became this great friend, this great mentor to me a great advisor, but it came from me doing this work that I had no expectation of getting anything from. I just wanted to create something that would entertain me and my friends, and it entertained Ray Bradbury too, and we became friends. So that's another great way that you can do something that will get many doors to open, by creating your truth, coming from creative delight, and just following through on it.